Hello again, internet people. Um, I had a thought today. Um, right now, I'm giving Cat his fluids. If you watched my other video, you would recognize him. Um, but I realized today that my one of my other cats, her name is Muffy, she is now at the point where she needs fluids. And today is going to be the first attempt at giving them to her. And so I thought it might be worthwhile to share with you what it looks like doing fluids the first time on a cat when you've never done them before. Obviously, cat here, he doesn't care what I'm doing at all as long as he's got snacks with him. So he doesn't mind the process and he's fantastic. The other cat that I'm going to be doing um, as soon as I finish with him, hopefully, um, is Muffy. And a little bit of history on Muffy. She, are you done eating? Here, have some more snacks. A little bit of history with Muffy is that um, she's she's an older cat. She's just about 15 years old, but I've only known her for about seven and a half months. And she doesn't like to be picked up. She doesn't like to be held. And she does not like to be restrained at all. So uh, this is going to be an interesting experience because I have to bring her up here to this counter to be able to get to her and hopefully distract her with food long enough to give her some fluids. Although Cat now has decided that he is not interested in snacks anymore. So this is, uh, yeah, if you watched my other video, you would see that he sat perfectly still the entire time. This time I didn't give him enough snacks to keep him occupied. So now he sort of wants to leave, but he's got a little bit left in the bowl and a little bit left in the syringe. So I'm just going to keep going with him. Hopefully get as much of this into him as I can. Um, here we are almost done so oop, and there we go now the needle has popped out and he's actually had the minimum amount that he needs so i'm just going to go ahead and stop his fluids here and let him do whatever he wants to do and then after a brief pause while i refill syringes and get some clean needles going um, i'm going to come back and i am going to show you my first attempt at giving fluids to Muffy, and I hope this goes well. I am a bit nervous about it, but we will see what happens. Okay, so everyone, this is Muffy, and she's surprisingly not growling at the moment. Normally she growls the moment I pick her up. And so I'm going to see, this is her first time even being on this counter, so not sure how comfortable she is. But she, I guess, is okay because she is right into the food. So now, um, and again, I've never done fluids on this cat before. I have no idea how she will react to it. But we shall see what's going on. I've already got my line uh, reprimed again with more warm fluids. Now, I do know that Muffy did have fluids um, when she was in the shelter before I adopted her. She was a pretty sick girl. Um, uh, that was it. That was the needle going in. And that little nom nom noise that she makes, uh, she sort of makes that noise anytime she's eating if you bother her. So now let's see. We've got the needle in and we've got snacks going. Let's see if we can get some fluids. And she doesn't seem to like that. Pushing on the syringe is making her a little uncomfortable. Um, so I'll see. Oh, she's actually doing really well. This is better than I thought, although we've only got a tiny bit in her. Um, so I may have to restrain her a tiny bit more. Snacks aren't doing it. Um, okay. You're okay, baby. You're okay. Um, so I'm not going super quickly. I'm, um, so far, she's only had about 15 mLs going in her. Um, <laughs> this is one of the things that Thomas used to do, this jumping up. And so I've done a lot of fluids in the past, sort of holding him in my arms this way. And I guess that seems to be working. Although my needle just popped out. So real quickly, hopefully I don't lose Muffy. Uh, one of the reasons I like having this little carpet here is that I'm happy to stab my needle down into it so that I don't stab myself later. <laughs> Uh, with it while I'm trying to change it and deal with the cat. Um, so I'm going to do this as professionally as possible, although I think I've now lost all of my street cred um, for being a fluids master. Uh, let's see here. All right, the new needle is on, but 
this one is on a butterfly, so I have to get more, uh, more fluids running all the way down the line so that I don't just give a giant air bubble to Muffy when I poke her again. So now, hey, you want some more snacks? Some more snacks. You're such a good girl. You are. You're such a good girl. Well, I know you don't like me now. Yes, you don't like me now. It's okay. Come here. Oh, you're okay. All right, and now if you've ever worked with a butterfly, you'll see, oh, that's a normal hiss for her. You'll know that they have a, um, oh, it's okay. They have a little plastic cover on them. So even though it looks a little like the needle is fully exposed, the needle's not actually open yet. So I'm not, uh, not getting the needle dirty or anything while I'm trying to see if I can calm her down. But hey, you want some, you want some more snacks? Try some more snacks. So. Hopefully she'll go more into the snacks and, and ignore me for a bit, but I might not get that lucky. Um, and so Muffy here, she has got, let's see, when I adopted her, she had uncontrolled diabetes, um, but that's gone in remission now. Um, that was the easiest thing to do with her. Um, she, oh, it's okay, baby. When I got her, she also had an eye infection and an ear infection and a bladder infection, and those all cleared up, but getting the antibiotics into her was a bit of a mess. Um, she didn't like oral meds. She didn't like shots. She didn't like anything. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. That was the needle going in again. Uh, so she's definitely mad about it, but we got it in. She's being a very good girl. Yeah. Whoa. And a very good girl. Whoa. All right. And we got the fluids going again. That was a little warning bite there. So she, def she definitely doesn't like it. But I'm going to see if she'll calm down a bit. Um, now, Muffy, she really hates being restrained. And I don't have any kind of easy harness or anything yet. So... <laughs> This is one thing that says, hey, I should get one. Wow. You're okay, Kayla. Let's see. Can I do a little more? So this might be her saying no to this method. But we'll figure that out. Okay. Is that a big no? Okay. All right. And then because she really is angry, I'm going to go ahead and poke this needle down so I don't stab myself with it. And I will return her to where she wanted to be and give her her snacks over there where she won't be angry anymore. Okay, so uh, as you could see, uh, that was my first attempt with Muffy. And it's pretty clear that the way that works best for cat, which is syringe method on the counter with distracted by snacks, is not the best method that works for Muffy. So um, next up, we'll be trying to find a different method that works for her because she is at a point where she does need fluid. It's really possible that the thing that will be best for her will be getting um, one of those easy... Uh, IV harnesses, and then trying in a smaller room, possibly her bedroom. Um, I call it her room. It was the one that she stayed in the most when I first adopted her. Um, her room doesn't have anywhere for her to really hide. It has a couple of places for her to jump to, but with the easy IV harness thing, I won't have to worry about the needle falling out, so that'll be fine. Um, and it's not a huge room, so she can't, she can't run too far too quickly. Um, so we'll try that next and hopefully that one will work out for us because she is at the point where she does need fluids. Um, so now we just have to find a way that works for her. Um, she, you know, she growled a little when I stuck the needle in, but that is not a big deal. She growls about that much when I do just about anything with her, uh, without her permission ahead of time. Um, and she actually doesn't like being distracted while she's eating, so it's pretty possible that snacks were a bad choice for her, even though uh, snacks are the best choice for cat, as you've seen. Um, so I just wanted to share this experience with you guys just to let you see, like, not every cat sits perfectly still. Not every cat enjoys the experience. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get Muffy comfortable with it because it is definitely something that she needs now. So uh, we'll do our best on that. And uh, I guess stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Talk to you later.